Hey guys, Andrea. So thought I'd change up the pace a bit. I've been doing a lot of responding to comments, story times, things like that. Guys, this is one I wanted to do of resources that are available free or low cost to people with a disability, particularly in Australia. First one, sunflower lanyards. They are becoming so common and they can avoid the intrusive questions of what's wrong with you and they're becoming more and more common. So guys, these represent hidden disabilities, so things like autism, ADHD, chronic illnesses, mobility aids. So they give access to like priority seating, sensory rooms, um, things like that, at concerts and events, um, priority seating on public transport, extra assistance, and at the shopping centre, um, depending on where you live, if they've got sensory hours, you'll get priority access as well. Guys, I'm going to do a full on story time with sensory hour because if they can do it for those hours of the days, weeks, why can't they do that all the time? Just makes sense to do it all the time. Because it's not just people with disabilities who walk into the supermarket and it's so overwhelmed. Think about the mum with the three kids that the only time that she can do the shopping is once she picked them up from school um, as well. My next one is on some great online resources that I am using at the moment. Um, Alison. And guys, full disclosure, not sponsored, but I am an affiliate for them. Allison, an online learning platform, you can do certificate taster courses, hobbies, right up to diploma level qualifications or even advanced diploma qualifications. Then, um, guys, don't forget your local library card. So your local council-run library, public-run library or even your university library. Um, university library, you may be limited if you're a community member but your local public library, that's not only, that's books, that's e-resources, resources, that's games, that's CDs, that's DVDs, all amazing content. Then my next one, guys, is please apply for your discount. So in Queensland, your companion card, your concession card i know dealing with centrelink or services australia can be challenging but guys please apply for them then your next one guys fairly obvious hard to apply hard to get is ndis and guys please remember that diagnosis does not always equal access sometimes it does then the obvious one youtube guys really good resources for seeing people's point of view so there's some other fantastic disabled creators out there there's some university professors that are putting their lectures up and the next one spotify great podcasters out there my particular favorites joe rogan do you fucking mind alexis ferdinand jordan b peterson um as well as that podcast staple, No Such Thing as a Fish, are just some of my favourites. Then, guys, use your local community. So, parks, really great way to just spend some time going wandering in the local park. Toowoomba, where I live, is the Garden City, so we've got a lot of parks, gardens, and our council does have a disability advisory committee, so they are very much on and up with the disability community. If advocacy is your thing, Queensland Disability Network or Australian People with a Disability Network, guys, absolute amazing advocacy resource. Then don't forget about things like LinkedIn. You're probably thinking, oh, but I'm not working. Guys, really great for advocacy, responding to comments. And if you are ever then able to go back to work, you have that digital media presence as well. The other one, a bit questionable depending on where you are in the world, is TikTok, guys, as well. But I have a love-hate relationship with TikTok. I do post to TikTok, but I'm seeing a lot of people spreading a lot of misinformation over there as well about disability, chronic illnesses, and 
Guys, it is objectively funny to see Tumblr fangirls freaking out when reality hits them in the face. No disrespect to Tumblr fangirls, but you need to come to terms with reality. Guys, it's perfectly okay to be into Bluey, Shadowhunters, Riverdale, um, Stranger Things. But guys, pushback is not hate speech. Um, That's the other thing as well, that word guides will vary country from country. And so guys, places like Google, Reddit are amazing for discussing disability related topics. Unfortunately, the NDIS Reddit thread has been infiltrated by a lot of dodgy providers. There is discussions of setting up a participant only one as well. But guys, these are just some resources. Drop it in the comments as well. Your favorite disabled content creators, whether it be YouTube, TikTok, Rumble, or Podcaster, favorite resources that you guys have got as well. But guys, the other ones that do unfortunately have a historical stigma with them, guys, don't forget about food recovery, supermarkets, and food banks as well as community kitchens as well. They've often got a great sense of community as well. Um, And guys, op shops. I know op shop prices can be a bit more pricey than buying brand new, but that is a whole other debate for the next video. Guys, and yes, you will notice I'm experimenting with the length of my videos as well as I get back on track with the podcasting schedule through content creation because, guys, I am coming to the last exam of my course, so I'll be able to record a lot more as well. So, guys, i am got this one on because I'm about to head out to a support shift as well, and you know who you are. I just want to wish you well. Um, Guys, in saying that, one of my support workers has gone on personal leave. Um, It's hit me hard that I won't see her for a year. And guys, I'm going to do a longer form about when a support member leaves. Guys, please allow yourself to grieve, to be upset. Once that two weeks to three months is over allow yourself to get back in contact if that's what the organization or the person wants because let's be real support workers are a resource but they do become a part of the family so guys if you can like share subscribe comment really helps the algorithms to see me because guys 80 percent of you guys are still unsubscribed let me know what i've got to do to earn your subscription Okay, see you in the next video.